Alright, <clears throat> so what's good, y'all? As y'all know, I am your host of the Afro Nation, the Lost African. Um, today, the reason why I called it, I want to talk to my women, all women of any race, as y'all know, you know, I don't discriminate. Um, all women of every race. I feel like this is a, a serious discussion that we need to have as far as men in our relationship as men and women. It seems to be a broken relationship between us as far as an equal value of respect. You know, I'm not perfect. You know, neither are men and women. All men and women are perfect. We are not perfect as a society. But I do feel that this is a discussion that we need to have. And there's an issue that we need to talk about. I'm going to tell you the background. The reason what made me want to do this or do this episode was because there was a young lady. She... Uh, the story goes like this. There was a young lady. She wanted to go get her nails done and things of that nature. And that wasn't done to her satisfaction, right? This is a man that was doing her nails. So, as the story goes on, she asks him to, you know, redo them. Can you soak them? Can you finish them up? Can you change upon request? She still goes and pays for these things, right? So... As she proceeds to leave, the guy, the man, perceived that she stole. He doesn't ask her what happened. Did you pay for him? Doesn't ask his associates in, in the nail shop. Um, you know, did she pay her? Things like that, right? So things go south. Things go sideways. The man, uh, she says, puts his hands on her in some way, shape, or form. Any way, shape, or form, a man put a hands on a woman, you should not be doing these things. Um... You know, so then she's like, no, what's going on? She's trying to explain to him. He's not listening, right? He assumes that she's automatically assumes she's a thief. And then they call the police, whoever calls the police. So here's my other issue with it. Number one, as a man, me as a man, just speaking as a man in general, you should not be putting your hands on a woman um, by any way, shape, or form. You as a business owner, me being a businessman, as an entrepreneur, you should have asked her what was the issue. You know, did you pay? Why did you automatically assume that she stole? Then my other issue is after the fact, when they call the police, these men show up. Then again, that's why I said there's an underlying issue between women and men. These men, they show up and they're police officers and then they automatically, they chastise her as a criminal because she, she's trying to plead with them. She's like, you know, why... Uh, you, why can't I press charges? This man put his hands on me, blew up this whole situation, and um, you know, and they're not listening. You know, they're just they're 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 just blowing the situation off as a criminal. They're like, no, no, and she can prove that she paid for these things and everything. She proved that she paid for a screenshot and everything, right? So those are my biggest issues on why this subject need to be heard, and also specifically to. Um, I'm speaking as a black man, because I ask different nationalities, you know, on what is the core reason that we have this stigma between men and women. I've asked white women, black women, Asian women, Latino women. I've asked all these women, and the core reasoning or the core word that they kept using was respect. We don't seem to have equal respect for each other, and men especially don't seem to have respect for women anymore like this the time has just changed and we're like yo what the fuck is going on and i think some things need to be addressed now what hurt me the most not only as a man but as a black man when i asked black women you know where this issue comes from and these things they perceived or i got one notion that this one this one woman she was like i don't feel protected by my brother's, my, you know, father figures, these black men, until she met her man. And that hurt me as a, as a black man because I have a niece. I was raised by a black woman. Uh, my sister helped raise me. So I was raised around women. And it hurt my feelings as a black man to, to see or even hear a black woman say, yeah, I didn't feel protected by black men for a very long time. So there's an issue in our community individually, but there's also an issue between I see or I feel that men and women have, and these things need to be talked about. So I'm asking as a man and as a black man, what, how do you think 
us as men can maybe fix these things? Are there issues that we're just not hearing, we're not seeing? You know, I'm kind of want to make this an open discussion. Men, I've also asked men on this hand, you know, what what is the issue between us, between women and men, on how we can perceive these things? Some men said, you know, there's communication is key, that we're probably not listening to either party about these issues that we're not seeing, which is why I say I see you and I hear you. We're not listening. We're not seeing them. We're more so objectifying them and not viewing them as women in general. But like I said, these things need to be talked about. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a, a real issue here and I'm trying to get down to the bottom of it. Which is why I tag some women in it. A lot of these women I respect. Uh, but I really want to know what the issue was. Like, how can we mend this damaged relationship between men and women? Because I didn't like hearing these things. And I've started to see this a lot, especially in the bashing of men. Men aren't shit. Uh, they don't take care of their kids and things like that. And also vice versa, you know, some went, they've been like, you know, some women are this, some women are that. And I'm like, yo, all women aren't like this, which is why I said I was particularly going to call out, uh, I call him my hip hop daddy, because people who actually know me, and even if they don't know my first name, they call me 50. So around my neighborhood, I'm known as 50, right? So I had to call out my hip hop daddy when he was like, you know, I date exotic women and, you know, I only like exotic women like like black women aren't exotic. So I had to call him out because I had to say because in a view, first off, what do you mean you only date exotic women and this view and that view like black women aren't exotic? You were birthed from a black woman. I was birthed from a black woman. I was raised by black women. Black women are also exotic. Stop pushing this stereotype or this narrative that Black women are angry, that black women are special. That's that's a lot. I know a lot of black women who are special. My mother's special, my sister's special, my niece is special. You know, and the first, you're the first, especially if you're a father or if you're an uncle and you take that role as a father, like I try to do with my niece, you are the first man in their life. I'm talking about if you're raising kids or just your mentor or anything like that. You're the first man in their life. So their perception of men in general is going to be based off of how you treat them, which is why I always tell my niece, you know, she's a beautiful black woman. She's, she's smart. I tell my nephews, you know, don't talk about her. Tell your sister she's beautiful. You know, tell your sister that she's smart. Encourage your sister to, you know, push herself. Be brilliant. Like I said, all women, like I said, I don't discriminate. All women should be viewed as exotic. All women should be viewed as a treasure. And I'm not saying that, you know, men should just all of a sudden open their arms for every woman. Not every woman is for you. Not every man is for you. But there should be a general respect for women and men when we go out into the world. There should be a general love between men and women when we go out into this world. And there shouldn't be a, a backlash. There shouldn't be a constant bashing. You know what I'm saying? There should be a, a form of self-love that you have for each other. And I just felt like this was a, a big, a big issue. You know, and I got tired of hearing it. I got tired of seeing it on social media, especially for black men. I just got I just got tired of seeing it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, not all men are perfect. Yes, you probably before you came across you're king, you've had bad experiences with men. But like I've said, some women I've asked this question to on how we can heal this, what the problem was. Some go back to how you were raised. Then again, I go back to the experiences that you have with women and men. Yes, how you were raised can affect on how your output or your view for women is affected. So if you felt that the woman who raised you wasn't shit, you may assume that all women aren't shit, which is not true. You know, so I do believe on how you were raised and the core values of your family, when I go back to the community, affects how people walk into this world. Like when I did uh, Black Love, there was a doctor that um, he said, you know, the child isn't just born 
into a family, a child is born into the community, which is true. How you raise that child is a reflection of your family. And how that child ref acts upon out into the community reflects upon you. So you raise that child to respect each other, especially respect your people and respect women. That child will flourish in the community and in return, the community should do the same. Then the structure will be stronger. Uh, but yeah, I felt that this was something that really needed to be spoke about uh, on my end. And I really wanted to say, you know, as a man, first off, uh, all you women are beautiful. Uh, doesn't matter what shade you are, what ethnicity you are. Uh, perceive yourself as beautiful. I perceive you as beautiful. And not all women, not all men are, are trashed and they may need some fixing. On the other hand, I do call out men who have bashed women. You, you should not be doing this. You shouldn't put your hands on a woman. You shouldn't bash a woman. You shouldn't receive another woman above the rest for whatever reason, skin tone, uh, what she's doing in life or anything like that. I felt that this needed to be talked about and this was a issue. Now, if you have a comment, please share. If you want to come on, uh, please share your piece. But that was mainly okay. My bad, y'all. I had got a a, uh, a message about something totally unrelated. But those are the main things that I wanted to to get out and get at and address. You know that we have to start with us foremost. Um, it starts with your community, how you're raising your family. And, you know, not seeing women as objects. Because one thing I didn't like, you know, I was like, man, Joe, they objectifying all these women and not, they're, they're just seeing them for their body parts and they're not seeing them for their intellectual beauty. You know, there's inner beauty, there's... You know, she's listening to you. He's listening to you. These things that shape other forms of beauty. Beauty isn't just on the outside, and you shouldn't just see beauty as an outside figure. You know, their looks and all the way, their hair is shaped, skin tone, these things. And just because a man is with a particular female that is not the same ethnicity as them, Women, you should not take that as they don't love themselves or they don't love you as a nation of people. Say I'm with a Latino woman and I'm not with a, a black woman, right? I was raised by a black woman. That does not mean that I don't love my sister and brother. You know, you never know what that projection of love is. But that doesn't mean that we don't love you any less and you shouldn't feel like that. Like I said, this is a issue in-house and out-house for all women and men. Um, I go back to the incident, why the background, why I made this show, why I did this episode. Um, that man that put his hands on her in the nail shop, he should have went automatically and asked her as a businessman and as a man in general, you know, young lady, did you pay? Uh, what is the issue before you leave? Did you pay? Ask her, why, why did you not view her with the same respect, if you have a daughter, if you have a sister, if you have an auntie, especially as, especially if you have a mother that's alive, the same respect that you would treat them, that you should have treated her with. You know, that was my, my biggest issue when us standing together as a community. I also wanted to share this piece because um, I don't know if she got justice or not. I'm not deep in those details. But in that instance, us as a community, now I'm just talking to black people right now, uh, walked out. And, and protest it right then and there. Like, you don't treat us. You treat us all with respect. Uh, no matter what we look like. But uh, that's pretty much my piece. Uh, please like and share my videos. I just wanted to, to speak on it. And it just, because I felt that there was a problem. Just some of my episode. Uh, we need to get, get a form of communication down. Some women even said that. You know, we need to go to therapy to figure out what is this this damage that's been done to 
our relationships as men and women. What is going on? How can we fix these things so we can better communicate? And I'm not saying that every man is for every woman, you know, but every woman should be seen, should be seen and as, as an exotic woman, as a treasure. You know, just because she's not your treasure doesn't mean that she's not a treasure at all. You know, that's one of the biggest things that we need to get away from. Just try to treat all women with some form of respect. But that's my piece on it. Um, if you have an opinion, please comment. Uh, like I said, I always open the door back up. My show is very open to anything. Um, and I will be dropping next week later to, later this week, Thursday. I will be dropping uh, <laughs> with my boy, uh, Justin. I will be dropping the culture. But I wanted to speak on this because I'm like, yo, there's an issue that we have between men and women. Um, especially with women, especially with black women. I heard this a lot, particularly with black women, that they don't feel protected, that they don't, that they feel rejected when they, when they see us, like, oh, why aren't we good enough? You are good enough, black woman. I'm saying this as a black man. I don't care whatever else you're talking about. You are good enough. Um, and I want you to always perceive yourself as good enough, but all women are treasures. All women. All women are exotic. All women are treasures. Please try to show and create a new generation of men to show them respect. Like I said, I was raised by a black woman. So I was raised to love love women, number first, love women and love black women as equals. You know, treat them with respect. Hold the door open, you know, pull the chair out. Uh, if a man takes a woman out on a date, they pay for it. These type of gestures and especially try not to call women out of their names. Um, I know we have a bad habit of that, and we need to change, especially with the new generation of young men, on this relationship, on how we view women. Uh, but that's my piece. Please like, share, follow my page. Please share this video, especially for the background reason of why I did this show. Uh, but if you have a piece, comment, and I'll open the door back up. If you don't, just share the video in, in general, and please get the word out. Uh, peace and love to all women. And I'll holler at y'all later.